Hello YouTube, so today we're back at it again at the Vivarium. I haven't done an update on this, so you probably don't know what it looks like. So, I plan on doing an update maybe once it's been one or two years after setting it up, because it'll be really, really improved. But it's, it looks really cool now. So, I'm, today we're going to be doing an episode on my favorite frogs. I've had several frogs as pets before, and I've all really liked them. My favorite frog that I have, and I actually have it in here, is when I got this vivarium, I was looking for frogs. I wanted to, I knew I wanted tree frogs in here. And I thought, red-eyed tree frogs, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty popular, so they look really cool, so I should get them. But then I decided not to. And I decided, hey, I should get a native species to where I am. And I just went out and caught these myself. And they are the coolest, the coolest frogs I've ever had. And... They are the green tree frog. This is Samson, and she is r really, really big. It's the biggest frog I have. She's really, really pretty. She's super big. She's got mostly green, but then right here you can see there's a pretty yellow line. She's really big, and I actually have five green tree frogs in this cage as of right now. She's the fattest one. But also have some smaller ones in here. We're going to bring Samson and maybe one of her other frog friends in the in another room, and we're gonna get a cool video with them. So stay tuned. So, here we are. The species today we're going to be talking about is the green tree frog. They are native to most of the United States, and they're really cool frogs. They're, like I said, they're native to where I live, so you could very likely go outside, and if you look good enough, you could find them. And if you can't find a green tree frog, gray tree frogs are also really cool, but in my opinion, they're just not near as pretty. So anyway... Um, if they're males, they will croak a lot. Like mine, I'll try to get a video in here, but they croak a lot. They're constantly croaking. And so, but yeah, the females don't croak any. And sometimes, they you can get them calmed down to holding, but I don't hold Samson very much. So, she isn't very good at that. So, she likes to jump a lot. And a safe way to hold any frog, if you can. It, I don't want to hurt Samson, but it is really is a safe way. So if you can. This is just going to try to help you when you're catching frogs instead of holding them in your hands, which is fine. But if you want to show your friend or something, this is a safe way to hold them by the legs like this. And that way they're just chilling and they can't move, but it is not hurting them at all. So like there she is and I'm just barely being very gentle with her and she can't move any but it's not hurting her and that way she can't hop all over the place so basically they're really cool frogs now let's get into some of the care since they're from the United States you know they're not from a super tropical place so I just keep them at room temperature and they are nocturnal so they don't really need much UV or UVB so basically all I do is just keep them at room temperature and they can, they'll do good in pretty much anything. I would say like for one or two tree frogs, you could do a 10 gallon tank. But what I like to do is that would be cool. But if you really want to upgrade it, I would definitely recommend live plants. Um, I would definitely recommend live plants. They really like it. And what you could also do is with my gray tree frog I used to have, they used, they loved it when I had a water bowl with some water in it and they would sit in it and soak in it. And they really like water, but I don't I don't have a bowl of water in there now just because I don't have a whole ton of room for it. And so, but a water bowl is an option. They would like it. And so it's just up to you on whether you want to have one or not. Now let's get into some of the diet. Now, frogs are cool. And they're very, most frogs that I have had are very, very simple to take care of. 
all you have to do is feed them like some crickets or mealworms or something like that once or twice a week. And it's really easy. And if you forget, and if you feed it like, I don't know. Anyway, just make sure you feed them. It doesn't, like you'll notice if they're, if they need food, they'll look a little bit thin. And that way you'll know you need to go get food. She's so big that I just feed her giant, uh, or large super worms. And she eats them easily. That's the one my bearded dragons eat. So, like, the, the other green tree frogs, they're a little bit, they're, like, her size, but they're not as, like, thick. But they, I don't think they would eat a giant superworm, but she eats them, like, very easily. So, I would recommend feeding mealworms are good, but also they like hunting crickets when you're, when you're asleep. So, if you put crickets in there and you don't see them eating it, that is okay because they will eat them when you're asleep since they're nocturnal. And that's basically it. And what does nocturnal mean? Oh, nocturnal. Okay, this is a little lesson. Nocturnal would be like a tree frog like Samson. She's asleep during the day and awake at night. And she hunts and eats when she's at night. But diurnal would be like we humans are. We're awake during the day and asleep at night. And so, like, y'all might know that it's a day outside, but I guess they can be awake during the day. Too. Yeah, yeah, they can be awake during the day. And, I mean, if they need to be awake during the day, they can. But, as a general rule, they're normally going to be awake and active at night. Sort of like a bat. Yeah, so if you'll notice, if you have several, it's very likely for you to have a male. So, you'll they call all the time, but they call a lot. And his makes a lot of noise. Yeah, they make a lot of noise. But I have like four or five, so there are two or three males in there calling. So, uh, thank you for watching. That was care for the American Green Tree Frog, guys. And I guess we're going to feed this little dude. And uh, we're about to go feed him, so stay tuned and see what happens. See ya. Yeah. Ooh. And there she goes, Samson. Crushing the giant superworm.